Six years later, and we are smoking watermelon. You ready? Smoke watermelon. Yum. You're cute. Fired up. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go from the birthplace of American Barbecue. It is Great TV time, and I'm seeing if I can do all this from memory. Uh, Bill West, Bill at GreatTV.com. You still got your email. Jack Wayboard, JackWayboard, gmail.com. Three-time South Carolina State uh, Barbecue Champion. Uh, I'm with BarbecueTricks.com, and uh, it's been, so I looked up, it's been six years, almost exactly. May 25th was the last Great TV episode, so now, since everybody is uh, uh, like getting stir crazy, I figured we'd do something. Six years since we shared a beer together. It's the show that takes about a beer oh, that's right. to drink. And yes, that's right. The show that takes about a beer to drink. A Stone IPA today. Cheers. And Cheers. we'll do the bottom of glass. Indeed. Uh, uh, so, what has happened in the last six years? Buddy, I've been busy as I can be, running around the world cooking uh, animals everywhere that I can cook animals. and having a good time uh, you know we've had uh, uh, a lot of things going on Bill uh, family's been good everybody's been uh, healthy and moving on through the through the processes how about you how many grandchildren three now and another one on the way I've got one just still one son uh, uh, 19 now so new how new new home we're a different on the other side of town in Charleston new set uh, new set that's right yeah yeah and we're um, in a new place you like my sign back there Free ribs tomorrow. Tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just uh, been doing having some videos and doing some cookbooks. So hopefully people check those. Yeah, out. the cookbooks are great. Uh, I looked through them. Uh, they were fantastic, though. So you're cooking. You're doing cooks, but it's not really. Have you been doing any competition? Yeah, you know, I did. Uh, I did my first competition uh, about uh, three months ago. I cooked just before the whole. A uh, pandemic thing pulled up. We got a. I came out of retirement, so to speak. So, um, had, we were in Cottageville, South Carolina. My son-in-law Michael and I cooked together as a team, and we came in third place overall. Had a great cook. We had a good time. Uh, it was fun to be back out again uh, cooking the contest. But we've been cooking all over the country lately, uh, uh, pushing a thing called boucherie, which is a Cajun tradition. We've been having a great time uh, going to a lot of farm to table events and. Uh, teaching young kids and young chefs about the food chain and, where does, and uh, where farm to table. Get more on that. Uh, boucherie is, uh, you know, just, I, I guess the best way to keep up with it is to uh, uh, keep up with me. Uh, we do one in uh, in Georgia at Comfort Farms. Uh, John Jackson has a place out there. Uh, and we do one in Augusta. That's a great time. We do one on Wad Mala. That's also a good time. So uh, those are the three main ones that I've been uh, involved with. Been doing a lot of different uh, styles of cooking. But all that's live fire, and it's all a lot of fun, um, cooking Cajun food and, and uh, traditional stuff. Do you so. have any scheduled events coming up at this point? <clears throat> at this point in time, I got nothing on the schedule. Everything's kind of on the on the out. We were going to run a full, uh, not a full competition schedule. We were going to run a competition schedule, uh, do three, four, or five, try to um, you know do some uh, get, get back into the swing and and kind of roll through it again. But um, you know, with COVID around, we just it's just not possible to put all the people together. Most of those events, you know, Bill are fundraisers. And, and without being able to get the people together to raise the money, it's hard for that kind of thing to go on. So. And we're in, being in South Carolina, we're opening up a lot quicker than a lot of places. We are, but still not that much yet. Yeah, we're, I just don't think we're ready to put a lot of people in one place. I think you're going to see, you know, a fundraiser takes uh, five or six hundred people to make to be a success. So, um, you know, we want to make sure that we're being smart about what we're doing. And you can't just—it's not at the point where you can hype. No, not say, yet. Come on out because no. you just can't. I mean, we don't know any days yet. Nope. We're at the time of shooting this, who knows when? By yeah, the time. we're uh, we're kind of thinking about a new format for Carolina Pitmasters. Maybe making uh, something go with that, and uh, yeah, we've been let, about some, some let video Jack stuff and, at GreatTV.com know if you'd be up for a competition cooking barbecue class. Yeah, online because I think it needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Bill and I have been Bill's been bothering me for about the last, what, six Two, years yeah. to uh, put together a, a, an online video, and certainly we'd love to do it. Um, it's just a matter of putting the right format together and uh, making sure that the, the great content gets out for everybody. But certainly it's uh, certainly not out of the realm, not out of the ballpark. We want, we're looking for a, a great venue right now to put another Carolina Pitmasters outdoor cooking school together. 
um, and we want to kind of change it up a little bit. So we're looking for the right people to put together and the right venue to put it at. So keep an eye out for that. We've got that coming on down the road, I think. We've got right over there in that smoker a smoked, actually two smoked watermelon. And we will unveil, we're going to give it a little bit more smoke as we, we talk. And that will be at by the time we're done with this, we will take a look at it. You know, last when we first and they see if it's any good. Yeah, the last time we got together, Bill, we were talking. The, the smoked watermelon was the craze that came onto the uh, onto the onto the scene. Yeah, somebody had smoked some watermelon, and we're comparing it to the color of wagyu beef, and 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 saying what a great thing it was. And and we talked about it for a little while, and I said, well, we won't really know whether it's good or not until we do it. So uh, six years later, here we are uh, smoking a watermelon. So yeah, we'll we'll taste in a second. I every other video that I saw it's people trying it and I think the was it the spruce restaurant some some famous restaurant did it and I think mainly to satisfy some vegetarians in their uh, in their customers base but I the people that have tried it and brined it have not really raved about it so yeah didn't see any reviews on it didn't see a whole all lot of them, anything all of them involved the brine that I saw so I didn't go by really any of the ones. I just, I, I did two different seasons. I did a sweet and a savory with Worcestershire and uh, and some lemon and I think that's it. Then the other one is uh, a sweet profile. So we'll look at those in just a second. But we'll cut first, them up and eat, we'll cut them up and stick them in our face. So I've got a trivia question. And where, what was, where were you longest in the restaurant business? Uh, Actually, that's my, my trivia question. <laughs> For people watching, the question is, what fruit is pictured in the Olive Garden logo? No, it's not olives. You know this? Get that, though. The answer coming up in just a second. <laughs> so while you mull that over, what fruit is featured in the Olive Garden logo? Let's slice up this other fruit, or at least I'll show you what I did previously. Sliced it and scored up this watermelon, and we will taste it in just a second. So what fruit is on the Olive Garden logo? And it is not watermelon. It is? Do you know this? Grapes. It is grapes. <laughs> well, I need to edit that, though. The answer coming up in just a second. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. You ready? So two smoked watermelon, a what did that what was it called a duo and smoke and a uh, the smoke and duo an experiment. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this. Get this. You should put it in three D. Put that. Yeah. Okay. Smoked watermelon. First cut. Looks like ham. Looks like ham. So this one is sugar glazed with honey bourbon. It's a Jack Daniels honey bourbon and um, some lemon juice, lemon zest, and brown sugar. Still crunchy inside. It's still firm. Still firm. All right. I'll take a piece. Here. Give it to you on a paper plate too. Mm. How is it? We've never had it, so we're uh, you're gonna enjoy that. Holy crap, that's so good. Nice to see you, man. Well, have a good weekend. We'll see you. Is he, is he barfing in the bushes? <laughs> we we had the uh, Amazon man come. Here we go. Try. Mm. So. Actually, the smoke is kind of cool. Yeah. It's warm and still actually way more crisp than I thought because I was expecting it to be mushy. Mushy. I was too. That's, that's what I said. It's got to be a mushy thing. So. It's still sweet. Yeah. Um, it's not. It's still. It's still watermelony. And I cooked this one about, I mean, it's about eight hours, but it was low, about 200 degrees. So I didn't want to crank it up too high. Not a, not a bad thing. Yeah, not a bad thing. 
has a, it's sweet, it's a little sticky. Um, it's clean, it's got a clean flavor to it. It's not a, it's not heavy by any stretch of the imagination. This is a lot firmer or more, or same mm, difference? A, a little bit more firmer. So this had less, about four hours less, or three hours less. And this is savory, right? Savory, it's uh, Worcestershire, a little bit of mustard for the glaze, and... You know, I wanted to try and at least have it, have a, a bark of some sort, and it does. It does, it does, for sure. It seems to have uh, penetrated a little bit around the outside. It's a little saltier, at least the bite I had. Well, you, can get, you get the citrus bite in it too. It's good. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I was expecting it to be bad. Yeah, I was so really, we're pleasantly surprised yeah, we here. It's uh, It's got a little bit of smoky flavor in it. Um, it's like I said, it's still sweet. Uh, this one with the lemon juice and the Worcestershire sauce has a little bit more of a of a, a calming acid on it on the outside. It's definitely still a fruit. You know, you're not, it's not masquerading it to be meat, although the look of it when you're out, you know, I think that's the catch of all of it is people think it looks cool. I but think, Bill, if, if I was to serve it, I would want to go ahead, I would smoke it, and I might cool it again and get it cold because I, I'm i not really a big fan of hot watermelon. Mm -hmm. I can't really say I'm a big fan of hot fruit. I will go with that confirmation. Smoke, I think the sweet version, chill it, and serve it, you know, put a little bit more lemon zest on it. Yeah. And uh, I think, it would I think be, people, uh, it definitely a conversation starter and tasty. It would be good on the uh, on the serving line, if you want to call it that. Uh, smoke watermelon, I give it, uh, what do you think? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Give it a go. Uh, until next time, hopefully it won't be another six years. Yeah, hopefully not. Uh, buy local, think global. Stay sustainable on every chance you get. Hug your mama. I was wondering if you'd remember that. Good.